The views expressed on the Jerry Cahill CF podcast are that of Jerry Cahill and guests, and not necessarily those of the Boomer Esiason Foundation. Nothing on the Jerry Cahill CF podcast should be considered medical advice. Such advice can only be given by a physician who is experienced with cystic fibrosis. The Boomer Esiason Foundation, Jerry Cahill and guests cannot be held responsible for any damage which may result from using the information on this podcast without the permission of your medical doctor. You're listening to the Jerry Cahill CF podcast presented by the Boomer Esiason Foundation and jerrycahill.com. Welcome to Jerry Cahill's CF Podcast. This podcast was made possible through an unrestricted educational grant from Genentech to the Boomer Esiason Foundation. Today we'll be talking about transitioning and cystic fibrosis. We will look at it from the perspective of a patient and also from the perspective of a caregiver. While one has to work on becoming independent, the other needs to work on relinquishing control. In the world of cystic fibrosis, transitioning refers to people with cystic fibrosis moving from the pediatric center to the adult center. Transitioning from pediatric to the adult center usually starts um, when you're around anywhere from 18 to 21. A lot of centers like to start it when you're uh, in college or just getting out of college, so there's less of a burden or less things that you have to deal with. As you get sicker with CF, which hopefully you don't, but you're stable, but you would go then from end stages cystic fibrosis to uh, being uh, listed for a transplant. And that's another transition. That transition is a little bit more difficult because you know, you're at that point not doing well and you don't know what's going to happen. And getting a transplant is not a be all end all cure. So that's kind of the path for somebody with cystic fibrosis. Uh, In my opinion, uh, uh, transitioning with cystic fibrosis really should start at birth. Uh, It's really about empowering uh, people with cystic fibrosis to take control of their life, their health, uh, and be very independent. But on the flip side of that, you know, those that have probably the biggest problem with transitioning is parents. It's, it's a lot more difficult for parents, I believe. I mean, we talk to a lot of people that are in high school getting ready for college, and the biggest thing they look forward to is going away to college to be independent, to be able to do their medications on their own, and to show their parents and people that they can do it. We want people with CF, we want them to live a normal life. That's what we talk about, live a normal life. Well, moving onward and forward is living a normal life not getting stuck in the world of pediatrics when you're 21 and, or what, even you're 18. I mean, the, the, the things that you're dealing with then are a lot different. I mean, I think the biggest issue that we should be talking about if we are gonna talk at all about transitioning is transitioning from end stage of cystic fibrosis to a transplant. You know, people that are getting sicker with cystic fibrosis, they need to know more about transplant a lot sooner than where they're finding it out now. It can't be all of a sudden, well, you get to the point, well, oh wow, my, my lung function's down to 20%, it's time for a transplant. People hit the panic button, they don't know what to do, they're not educated properly. So now I think it's important that people, once they are, their lung function gets to around 40, that they are now referred for transplant, just to start the ball rolling. So however you look at the word or whatever word you use for transitioning, um, and I always like to say life is transition because you have to move, you move forward from each step. You go from A to B to C to D, and it's the same, you know, you, whether you have CF or not, you know, you go to high school, you go from freshman to junior varsity to varsity. You go to college, it's similar, the same thing. You've got to try out for the team. and you make the team and you move forward and you know you're promoted you're not promoted just because you're a nice person you're promoted because you worked hard and you're doing well you're successful and i think if that we take that kind of mentality about transitioning you know maybe we'd be better off so i encourage all people with cystic fibrosis to take transitioning seriously so when we start talking about transitioning from pediatric to adult it's no big deal it's just life is transition Life is moving forward, and that's the way it should be.